Yes. Let's go. Look at his teeth in there. Oh, God. Here, here yeah. quick, guys. Take my photo. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is a good yeah, size, yeah. Yo, the skin on the walleye is like sandpaper. We're in business. Tell me that doesn't look that looks really good. Yeah. What's going on adventurers? It's your boy FS and welcome back to another video. I've recently been craving some fish tacos. So that's what we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna do a nice little catch, clean and cook video for you guys. I'm just now getting to Burke Lake. We're gonna walk out to the dock, cast a couple lines out and see if we could get something edible. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right guys, we just made it out to Burke Lake's dock and I came across this at the Walmart. It's a nice little net for 10 bucks. So we're gonna see if we could snag some bait fish. Next school, we're gonna try to dunk this in the water and catch a few. Hopefully they'll do for good bait. I can't see anything now, but we're just gonna look for them. They're on one of these sides, that's for sure. No, way too deep, scratch that. That's not gonna work. We're just gonna have to catch one the old school way. All right. Here we are, nice little tank bait on the ultralight. See if we could get a bluegill on this thing. All right, we got our first one. We can definitely use him as bait. That's perfect bait size too. All right, we're not playing games with this one. I have my spinning setup. We're gonna take this guy, go to the back, just like that. And he is live. I'm gonna drop this guy down. Let's do right here. While that guy does his thing, we're gonna go back and try to catch another bluegill to bait up this rod. Ah! Come on. I need him too. <laughs> yeah, sure, of course. Of course. <laughs> Gotta rig up both lines. Oh my god, I see some bass. Oh my god. There's loads of bass. <laughs> Alright guys, I forgot to hit the record button, but we are on to a walleye on the ultra light rod i don't honestly i have no idea how i hacked actually i have the net that we got from walmart earlier let's try to that that is a good fish guys that is a keeper for sure hopefully we don't lose him here we go here we go here we go come here come here uh, get in no all right you can help me. i do i do please thank you Yes. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> what is oh, it? It's a walleye. Oh. Delicious so fish. Can eat it. Yeah, absolutely. He's coming home with me for dinner tonight. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't even get a piece. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. These guys have nasty teeth too. I definitely don't, don't want to get bit. nicked by them. I'll show you guys them in a second. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Check this guys. It is big. Look at his teeth in there. Oh god. Here, here yeah. quick guys. Take my photo. <laughs> Take you my did photo. land it. You did land it. <laughs> that's an awesome keeper, though. That's not a bad fish at all. No, it's not. You said that's it's a not. walleye. Yeah. This is a walleye. Yeah. There's not that many in here in this uh, this lake, but I guess recently since they lowered the water, they've just been hanging out by the dock for food. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. There seems to be a lot of bait, and that is a good size one too. They don't get that big, but. What do you think? Do you like that fish? That's, That's amazing. Size, like, that is a good size, is, like, yeah. Four pounds, you think? Yeah, four or five pounds, maybe, just around. And you didn't have to fight with the goose. I did not. Can you keep it? I absolutely can. Yeah. Okay. That is a keeper. Dinner is good. Awesome. You're going to make some walleye tacos. Now, now what, did you, what did you use for a lure? A lure? Just these gulp minnows. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah they're, okay. you pick them up at Walmart for pretty cheap. Well, good job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for helping me land them. I couldn't have done it without you. How do you carry it home? So I have a stringer 
And this keeps him alive until I leave. And then I just have a Ziploc bag I'm going to put him in until I get home. You say a stringer, you put him in water? Mm-hmm. And put him right back in here. Oh. Yeah, I just, I run this through his gill, out his mouth. And then there's a little loop right here that you just loop it through. I'll show you. And it just keeps him alive and fresh until I'm ready to go. So he'll be, he'll be in the frying pan. Uh, Quite yeah, soon. Two hours after yeah, he's exactly. Fired. He's definitely going to be a good tasting fish, I'll tell you that. I actually caught one uh, two days ago from here as well, so really? this is clutch. Yeah, it's, it's a nice I, catch. I, I know that feeling <laughs> when I was down in uh, uh, the Outer Banks, I caught a 55 pound wahoo. Ooh. And we had it on the grill within two hours. It was probably delicious. Nothing like catching your own food. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah nothing like even Yeah, right? working for it. And yeah. yeah, nothing like catching and eating your own food. Man, he got me really good. He Yeah, he bit my oh finger. My yeah, he got me pretty good. Um they they have a white um white meat. Are they light? Yeah. They're light, yeah. It's not a bold no, no. robust taste. No, no. It's not like salmon or anything or trout or anything like that. Real Real, um, honestly, so the sauce is what you exactly. You play with it. You get to, you get yeah, to, right. you know, flavor it up. They're not that fishy. So more like cod or haddock. Mm -hmm. or more like cod. Yeah. Almost very, very similar to cod. Even their meat is just as tough as cod. Okay. Yeah, they're delicious. Delicious fish. I hope you catch good. another good. one. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Good. And thanks again for letting me land it. Oh. I appreciate it, guys. Well, we got dinner. Hey, um, I have a smaller hook for you. And if they still don't, like, you can't get one on that one, maybe this one might help. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, no problem. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? I saw that you put a picture on the fish. I just caught another one today. And the, even the, uh, the waiki? Walleye, yeah. Oh, my, walleye, right? Yeah, he's on the stringer in the water right there. What, what kind of bait? Life bait? No, no, uh, just like that minnow thing that... A minnow thing? It's like the fake minnow. How about the, the crappie today? Yeah, gulp. Any crappie today? No, uh, just one earlier. Okay. I can't find them. Maybe you can find them and we both catch them. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I brought some, you know, the... I don't know. Last time when we were here, was it two days ago? Yeah, two days ago. One of the best days fishing, bro. You see that? I got bro, three, right? One of the best days fishing, bro. How about that? When I leave, you get something? Yeah, I, I caught a bass. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was a big one. Bro, they love the shad. Yeah, they, they love, love the shad. They love the shad, man. Yeah, and the other bay is not working. Yeah, it's because all the shad are here for some reason now. I don't know why. It's because they lowered the water. Lower the water? Yeah, it's because they lowered, but that's good for us. Yeah, it's good for us. Oh, you got some. You got some. Huh? Uh, you oh yeah, he's on the stringer. Yeah, I'm taking oh. him home. I already, I caught another one today. Already? Yeah, same, same, same fish, walleye. Oh my god, nice. Yeah, wow. it was, it's a good. It's starting off to be a good day. Hopefully, yeah. I have two bluegills out right now too. If something big hits it, that would be fun too. I got a net, but I tried to, you know, get them, but impossible. They're too fast. Yeah, they like that the springer. Yeah, they're way too fast. Yeah, no crappie, right? No, nah, man, I've been trying for them, but they're not biting. I don't know what's going on with them. The way, maybe the way. I think it's the sun. All right, guys, it is the next day and we're about to cook this fish. But before we get to filleting the fish, what we need to do is turn on the grill. So I got some coals. We're going to go do that real quick, light up the grill, and then we're going to fillet the fish and hopefully make some beautiful fish tacos with it. To light the grill, all we need is these instant light coals. So we're going to slap some in the, in the grill real quick. Whoa. Try not to be shy. We got a bunch of coals in there. I also have like um, lighter fluid. So we're gonna throw some of that in there as well to get this thing started. I'm so excited. I'm telling you, they're gonna be good, man. I'm not gonna lie, I've had these coals in here for a while. So they're probably a little, a little dull. Take a little piece of paper real quick and put a coal on top of that. And hopefully we're gonna get the paper to light. And as soon as we get that to light, throw some lighter fluid on there. There we go. It's a little windy today, but I think we'll be fine. Watch out, babe. We're in business. Now, I know some of you in the comments are gonna be like, your food's gonna taste like lighter fluid. Don't worry, guys, this is gonna burn off. Like, we're gonna keep it here for a little bit, maybe like 30 minutes of it just burning off, uh, getting them coals ready. All right, let's go fillet the fish. I already gutted it, that's pretty simple. All you need to do is take your knife and just go right through the middle and pull the guts out. But to fillet it, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is follow the uh, dorsal bone over here. Now, guys, I am not, the best filleter out there so please do not judge me in fact i think this might be my second time or third time ever filleting a fish so hopefully i don't butcher it we'll see what happens but i'm just gonna run my knife straight down the the, the back dorsal fin all the way down to its tail yo the skin on walleye is like sandpaper what i'm gonna also do is cut right behind his gill all the way down just like that boom 
and now we can just start slowly cutting away that meat and from all the videos i've seen online what they usually do is you hear that noise they go right along the bone so that's exactly how we're gonna do it i am copying what i see on the internet boom not so bad for a fillet i'm actually proud of myself i did really good and just like that a nice fabulous fillet i'm gonna do the other side as well i'm starting this one from the tail and i'm working up to me other people like to start at the head and then work their way down honestly it's personal preference it doesn't really matter <laughs> not so bad so here's what we got to make these fish tacos. We got some tomatoes, some avocados, some lemons, and then of course tortillas and cheese. Cut these up real quick. Boom. Just like that, we're gonna do our lemons. Just straight down the middle, we'll set that down over here real quick. And lastly, our avocados. <laughs> Boom. I feel like I'm gonna stab myself. There you go. Okay, cool. Look at that. The grill seems ready to go. All what's left to do is to get our fish onto there because I am starving. We left skin on one of them. I'm gonna put a skin down first. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. And then I skinned the other one, so. Let's put that over there. Woo. You hear that? It's sizzling. Man, that looks really, really good. So oh, look how flaky that is. Looks amazing. Man, I should have got tongs. There you go. Yeah. It smells so good, though. We lost a little bit. But we still got majority of it. Oh, my God. This fish is ready. It looks amazing. All right, we got our, tar our tortillas. I want to start off with the fish itself. It just looks amazing. So what we're going to do is just, oh, it looks so juicy. Did you see that, babe? Yeah, it looks amazing. I can't wait to eat it. Yeah, it looks juicy, right? Yeah. Here, this first taco is for you, babe. Oh, thank you. We can share it. Be careful though, babe. I might, I don't know if I got all the bones. Straight up. That looks really good. Get some tomatoes. This of avocado right here. Some cheese. Last but not least, the secret sauce. It's literally called secret sauce. And it's really, really good. It you makes them taste amazing. That. Tell me that Ooh, doesn't look that amazing. That looks really good. All right, I come on, babe. It. First one's for you. Let me know how it is. Messy. <laughs> is it good? It's really good. For real? You like mm -hmm. walleye? Yeah. I heard it's a really good freshwater fish. I've never tasted it. I'm going to try it out right now. It's so good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. You did a great right. job. Quick. That's solid. That's really, really good. Make myself some tacos. Me and my wife are going to munch down. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Peace.